to my channel. Today we are doing 10 habit 10 10 or 11 habits to have a cleaner room. I've kind of been gearing my channel more towards lifestyle and fitness. So to go along with that, I thought I would share with you guys my top habits for how to keep your room clean. Cleaning your room is one thing, but keeping it clean is another. And I think we all struggle with this. I know I do. As much as I love cleaning my room, I know I struggle with having a messy room. But these are some habits that you can get into to kind of help you to make sure that your room stays relatively clean throughout the week. Let's get into my my habits, my top habits for keeping a clean room. Let's go. The first thing I recommend you do is sit down and make a list of the habits you want to change because visually seeing what you want done is really going to help you to stick to it. And if you put it somewhere where you'll see every day, it's like a daily reminder to get out of that habit and start a new one. <laughs> If you're the type of person like me who tends to collect a lot of random things, what I'll do is every month or two weeks, really whenever I feel like I need it, is I'll go around my room and pick up all the things that don't really have a spot or a home and I'll figure out where they should go. Maybe they shouldn't even go in my room, but just doing this monthly sweep of all of the things in your room is going to help to make sure that nothing gets cluttered and stays very clean. <laughs> After a long day of school and work, it can be very tempting to just throw your coat on the ground, put your purse on your bed, keys wherever, and jump on your bed and go on your phone. However, really try and get in the habit of immediately putting your keys, your purse, your bag, whatever away right when you walk in the door. That way it's not going to be lying around your room and you won't have to worry about it later. <music> I know most of us will eat in our room, props to you if you don't, but I don't have that kind of self-control, so I definitely eat in my room. But a good habit to get into is not throwing your food away in your trash in your room. Just go down to the kitchen, you don't want your room to start smelling, bugs can come. <laughs> Get in the habit of having a deep cleaning day. It could be once a week, once a month, whatever you feel your room needs. And if you guys want me to do a video on my deep cleaning routine, let me know in the comments because I'd love to do that for you. And I think it really helps the overall cleanliness of your room if you have a day where you know you do all of the deep cleaning. <music> It's crazy how much a messy dresser can affect how clean your room looks. The whole room could be clean, but if there's clothes everywhere in a dresser or even one drawer open, it will look much more messy. So I recommend getting in the habit of immediately closing your drawer doors when you're done and putting your clothes away right away. <laughs> I like to keep a multi-surface cleaner somewhere where I can easily see and grab it. That way, if there's any spills, I can immediately go clean it up. And also, if I see it sitting there, it might just remind me like, hey, I should clean off my desk and I will do it. Target has the best room decor. I got so much cute stuff. So excited. If you're one of those people like me, I admit it, who when you're shopping, if you see some kind of cute room decor piece, you will immediately buy it, put a hold on that, stop, get in the habit of not just buying cute things whenever you see it, actually think about where it will go in your room. And if you buy a new piece, maybe get in the habit of taking one piece out so you don't overload your room with stuff. <music> Clothes can be one of the biggest reasons for a messy room. I know this from experience, so as soon as you take them off at the end of the day, just throw them in the hamper and don't even think about it. This last one has made such a difference in the overall cleanliness of my room. Basically every night before I go to sleep, I will do a quick sweep of everything that is in my room. So if there's stuff on the floor or if my desk is messy, I will quickly clean that up. Nothing crazy, just make it look nice. And that way when I wake up in the morning, I also feel a lot better because I'm waking up to a nice and clean room. Hey again guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed that video and found it helpful and that you start incorporating those habits into your daily life because it will help you. But for real guys, I really hope that you found this helpful. I'm really hoping that my videos are more helpful for you guys lately and entertaining and yeah, that's about it. Entertaining and helpful, that's the goal. All right, I love you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel and turn on my notifications. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Such a beautiful job. Can't get enough.